if you're traveling on an airplane, you might want to bring a little stitching project along with you, maybe applique or hand piecing or embroidery. And if you do that, the question quickly comes up, what can you use to cut your thread? Now the regulations on airlines are based on the length of the blade of the scissors. So uh, technically something like this with a really small blade would probably be allowed. But personally, I would never travel on a plane with any um, expensive or special embroidery scissors because sometimes the random person that you get a security, they might not like it and it would be very difficult to challenge them at that time. So I don't travel with a carry-on with any kind of scissors that I would be devastated to lose. Uh, one good option is if you look for a little uh, mini sewing kits that you can get, they often have these tiny little cheap scissors and you can get the whole sewing kit for a dollar or two. So these scissors are usually great options and they're not something that would be heartbreaking to lose. Another option is if you're carrying dental floss, sometimes a little cut around there is enough to cut the thread. So depending on what kind of th uh, thread you're using, that could be a good option. And another great option, if you have a little bit more in the budget, is I have this necklace and this is made by Bohin, the French company that sells um, scissors and needles, that kind of thing. And these little indents in it are actually cutters. There's a little blade in there. So this will cut your thread uh, without any problems, but it's still safe and it's a beautiful piece of jewelry to wear. Um, so that's a good option if you have a little bit more budget or you could ask for that for Christmas. But those are all great options for cutting thread when you're on a plane. So next time you're on a plane, don't think that you have to leave your stitching project behind. For more embroidery tips and tricks, be sure to follow Ibida Studio.